Namaste, happy day, beautiful, bright, shining souls. My name is Shauna. Welcome to another edition of Full Power in Half an Hour. Today, coming to you live from Cairo, the Great Pyramids, the Sphinx, yay! So, working out around the world. In just half an hour, you are going to get a full body workout for your body, mind, and soul. Starting with HIT high intensity interval training, we'll do 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest to get our heart pumping, our blood flowing, body going. Then we'll transition into some stretching, a little bit of yoga. And finally, Shavasana, time to soak up all that hard work and just let it all go. So we will start in 20 seconds. And guys, this is all about you, so take it as your own pace. Uh, it'll be good, we'll get a little bit of work, a lot of work, a little bit of rest, kind of going both ways. So starting with jump ropes. Toes together, heels apart, shoulders roll down and back. Let's go. So landing lightly on the balls of your feet. Breathe. Heart raises high, tailbone lengthens down. Belly pulls up and in. Good, stay with it. So check in right now, see what's going on, how your body's feeling. Smile, you're already here, you're already doing it. Nice, 10 seconds left guys. So just feeling the energy reverberate off of the earth. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, step it out, side to side. So again, you have 20 seconds in the interim. Breathe, you can dance, you can play, whatever you want. Come back to your body, come back to your breath. Uh, squats next, toes out, heels in. Toes out, heels in, shoulders roll down and back. Good, drop your butt all the way back like you're sitting back in a chair. Exhale, press your hips forward, come on. Good, drop it down and back. Exhale, Shh. awesome work guys. So weight is in your heels. Flex your toes towards your face. Nice and easy. Amazing work. Stay with it. And again, check in with the quality of your thoughts. Quality of your breath, nice and strong. Really squeeze your buns as you get to the top. Five seconds left, you got this. Shh. What do you need? Three, two, and one. Amazing work. Same, same, step it out, breathe, take it in. So nice and strong here. Toe touches are next. Toes together, heels apart. So we're gonna step wide. Opposite hand comes to opposite foot. Wide, opposite hand to opposite foot. Breathe. So we're on guys, let's go. Nice flat back, belly pulls up and in. Shoulders roll down and back. So sink your butt back, heart reaches forward. Awesome. And if you're feeling really good, really strong here for the last 20 seconds, take it wide. And again, if this isn't working for you, you start kind of freaking out, no worries. Side to side. Stay with it, last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. 20 seconds again, check in with yourself. Heart rate is up, feeling good. Next is high knees. So you have options here with your arms. Arms can be over your head, biceps stay in line with your ears, or hands can be to your hips. If they're at your hips, you wanna make sure your knees are driving in towards your chest above your belly button. Let's go. Land lightly on the balls of your feet. Belly keeps pulling up and in. Breathe. So again, guys, this is letting your heart rate come up, and if this is a little too much bouncing for you, right here. Shh. But wherever you are, just keep moving. Keep smiling. You got this. Shh. Awesome work. And again, if you're gonna be up like this, biceps in line with ears, challenge yourself. Last 10 seconds, push. Shh. Shh. Stay with it. Three, two, and one. Woo, good job, breathe, step, smile, side to side. Awesome. All right, cross jacks, next. Hands stay at shoulder width level apart. 
Shoulders roll down and back. Same, same. Nice and wide. One and three, two. Let's go. So landing lightly on your tippy toes. Always, always, always. Palms stay nice and active. Breathe. Shoulders continue rolling down and back. Really squeezing your butt cheeks every time you draw it in. Opposite foot crosses over every time. Yay! You guys are awesome. Stay with it. 15 seconds. Woo. Breathe. What do you need? Check in with yourself. Last five. Three, two, and one. Good job. Sumo push-ups. Mm. Super wide stance here. All right, so take a super wide stance. Hands are gonna come down to the mat. Jump back, all the way down, all the way back up. And then you drive your hips forward. 40 seconds, let's do it. Hands to the mat, jump back. Nose just chin to the ground. Push it up, back up. Shh. Breathe, if that's too much for you guys, drop your knees, nose just chin down, and come back up. Legs stay as straight as you can. Halfway there. Yes, you can. Push. Fingers spread super wide. Gaze ahead of yourself. 10 seconds. You got this. At least one more. It's okay. Maybe two. And yay. Good work. All right. Insanity fours. So you may have done these with me before. Tailbone tucks under. Nice and low in that squat. We're gonna go low, 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 low. Twist, side, 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 side. The twisting is important. We're getting those obliques in. Let's go. Low, low, low. Side, side, side. Low, 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 low. Side, side, side. Good job, guys. Low, low, low. Side, side. And remember, if this is too much bouncing, you take it out, right? Low, 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 side, side, side. Do what works for you. This is about you, not about me. Smile, stay with it. Last 10 seconds, push, push. Three, two, and one. Mountain climber push-ups. Yep, I said it. <clears throat> so come into your plank position. Fingers spread nice and wide, hands are shoulder width distance apart. We're gonna do eight mountain climbers, pulling those knees into chest. Stop, two push-ups. Let's go. So heart is forward, gaze is forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a lot of counting, All right? I'm gonna drop my knees on this one. Push up, push up, good. Pop it back up, again, knee towards your chest, heart forward, continue to push the floor away from you, stay with it. After you've done eight-ish, right, find those push-ups. Belly continues to pull up and in, two, let's get one more in here, four, three, two, one, push up, uh, push up, Woo. awesome work. And stretch it back for a second if you want. Breathe. A little hip lift, hip rock. Butt kickers are next. Getting our heart rate up. Whew. Shoulders down and back. Hands come to your booty. Draw your elbows in. Heart nice and high. Let's go. So again, land lightly on the balls of your feet. Keep saying it. It's important. Belly continues to pull up and in. Shoulders down and back. Try and kick your heels into your butt every time. Smile, breathe, hopefully you have some music going, right? Halfway there, what do you need? If you wanna feel like challenging yourself today, double heels, we jump. Woo. And then you just come right back. Kick, you got it. Knees stay together, so notice if they're kind of flopping around or what you're doing. Be in control of the movement. Three, two, and one. Yay! One, two, three, Spider-Man. So coming back down. Notice we rotate, right? We go into cardiovascular, heart rate up. 
and then back down to strength. So lift one foot, opposite foot on the third foot, elbow to tricep. Good, let's go. One, two, three, knee to elbow. Heart forward, your heart rate should be up guys, it's all good. Stay with it. Really flex your toes, like you're leaving a footprint on that back wall. Halfway there, you got it. Let the weight come forward to your fingers. One, two, three. Take it to a Spider-Man. Breath on, 10 seconds. Yes, you can. What do you need? Really bend your elbows. I'm kind of cheating, but you should be bending them in. Nice, breathe. So from here, we're in that high plank. Butt comes up nice and high. Hey. Press the floor away from you. We're gonna work into pendulums from here. So from here, toes together, butt high, belly up and in. One leg reaches out to the side, left toes stay nice and flexed, and then switch it out. So side to side. Again, press the floor away from you. Breathe. So this isn't necessarily uh, about how high you can get that foot. It's about staying engaged, keeping energy reaching out of the bottom of your foot as you continue to press the floor away from you. Breathe. We have 12 seconds. Make it worth it. Stay with it. You got this. Three, two, and one. All right, so it's a lot of arms. Drop down, child's pose, toes together, knees apart. Reach those arms forward. And again, I like to sway a little bit, feels good. So from here, you're gonna work into child's pose push-ups. We're coming forward, your feet, your knees, everything stays down, chest touches the floor, gaze stays ahead, and then you push back. So again, come forward, nose just chin to the ground, Shh. push it back, nice. So be mindful here, you're still squeezing your butt nice and tight. Belly pulls up and in. All right, belly to spine. Halfway there, this is the last one we're doing before we move into core. Ugh, stay with it. 10 seconds. What do you need, guys? Challenge yourself. Yes, you can. Last three. Two, one. Went by fast. So again, take that child's pose, breathe. 20 seconds. We'll come up into a forearm plank. Yay. Big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. All right. So coming forward, forearm plank. So high plank down to forearms. Breathe. Reach your heels back. Squeeze your butt. Pull your belly up and in. Your elbows traction towards your heels. Breathe. Belly pulls up and in. Yes, you can. You got this. We're already halfway there. Notice if your hips are way up here, or if they're just kind of sagging down here. It's a strong, powerful position. Make it work for you. You got this. 10 seconds. Soften your face. Notice what's going on. Stay with it. Just three, two, and one. Good. Drop it down again, taking that child's pose. Extend your arms forward, let your butt be high, kind of stretching out our hips a little bit more. We're gonna take one more of those, except it'll be a variation. Plank is one of the best things we can do for our core. So spicing it up a little. Again, forearm plank, reach it back. So from here, guys, step one foot out, opposite foot, do it again. Now, adding in, knee to nose, knee to nose, knee to tricep. Need a tricep, let's go. Step, step, shh, shh. Need a nose, need a nose, need a tricep. Are your hips coming up? Check in with yourself. Are you starting to get mad at me? It's okay, it happens. Come back to being right here, right now. 10 more seconds, that's it, push. Out, out, need a nose, need a nose, need a tricep, need a tricep, stay with it. Three. Two, and one. Finish it up if you can. Woo, so good. Awesome work. Just gonna take a big breath in. 
let something go. One more, fill up. Soften in. Huh. Nice, transitioning onto your back, please. So from here, just moving right into core. Again, check in. Notice what's going on. Supta Baddha Konasana crunches is where we'll start. So soles of your feet together. Press your feet into each other, knees flop out wide. Fingertips behind your head, elbows stay out nice and wide as well. So lower back should be glued to the earth. Exhale, head, neck, and shoulders lift, as do your feet. Take a deep breath in right here. Shoulders are lifted, chin is away from your chest. Deep breath in. Exhale, elbows reach towards your knees and you're just gonna lift your tailbone up. Good, inhale, relax down. Exhale, shh. Inhale, lower. Exhale, shh. Lift. So guys, this doesn't have to be a very big movement. I like to try and keep my shoulders lifted. Gaze is high. Head is heavy in your hand. Shh. Breathe, stay with it. Shh. Let's go for eight. Seven. Shh. Just six. Five. Yes, you can, stay with it. Shh. Right here, last three. Keep pressing your soles of your feet in. Two. And one. Good job, hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself some love. Rock side to side to release any tension that may be going on in your lower back. Ooh. Good work, guys. The tabletop your legs. So knees stack directly over hips. Shins are parallel to the earth. Drop your feet below your knees and bring your knees a little bit more forward than you like. So you should feel your butt engaged, lower back glued down. Head, neck, and shoulders lift up, up, up. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, left elbow reaches to the outside of your right knee while your left foot reaches forward. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, shh, we twist. So left elbow falls open towards the earth. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist, good job. Inhale, shh. Breathe, stay with it. Shh. See if you can get your shoulders up a little bit more. Active energy reaching out through the bottom of that foot. Ugh. Notice what's going on with your face. Mine's already starting to struggle and get all crunchy. Just breathe, you got this. Shh. Right here, let's go eight. Shh. Six. Ah. Right, if it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. You got this. Four. Last two. Shh. Last one. Each side, even it out. Double time. Oh, I know. Not here for long, guys. Eight. Seven. Six. Chin away from chest. Look up. Three. Two. And one. Awesome work. Knees into chest. Same, same. Find yourself some love. Awesome work. Tabletop once again, right? Quick recovery. Head, neck, shoulders lift up, up, up. This time we're gonna reach our arms towards pinky fingers, towards pinky toes, right? Shoulders lift up as much as you can and then reach side to side. So these are penguins. So you can imagine you're a little cute penguin. Shh, shh, smile and wave, boys, smile and wave. You got this. Breathe side to side. Working our obliques. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. All right, reach your arms up, climb that rope. So we went from obliques right back into our transverse abdominis. Six pack, hey. Breathe. Active engagement, reaching out of those toes. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, hold it up in one, hold it up in one, pulse, pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing work, release, big belly breath in, exhale, let it go, one more, fill up, soften in, huh. Legs up the wall, find a little push guys, I promise. Belly up and in, toes nice and flexed. 
head, neck, and shoulders reach up, up, up. Lower one leg down, and if this isn't working for you, you can release it all the way down. It doesn't have to hover. But if you can, try and challenge yourself. Hover, hold. With nice donkey action. Opposite hand reaches towards opposite pinky foot, and then switch. So scissors right here, right? You can have one hand come behind your head. Breathe, see how low you can get that leg, or just let it fall to the earth. Like I said, this is your final push. Breathe. Shh. Embrace that burn. You got it. Eight, seven, six, just five, four, three, two, last one. Hold it. Reach, reach, reach. Flex those toes. Chin away from chest. Look up. Five, four, three, two. Switch it out. Shh. Almost there, guys. Amazing work, I promise. Five, four, three, two, last one. Opposite hand, opposite finger. You got it, you got it. Push, push, push. Reach up, look up, stay with it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing. Hug it in. Big belly breath in. Let it go. One more, fill up. Soften in. Plant your feet towards the earth. They should be hip width distance apart. So reach down and tickle your Achilles. That's how close your heel should be to your booty. Shrug your shoulders down and back. So coming into a bridge pose. Lift your tailbone up. You can interlace your hands and find a fist. Press into the earth to get a little bit more reach here. So your knees, quadriceps, and tailbone are all reaching forward. So you should feel like you have a block between your feet. So again, we're just releasing any tension. It should feel really good. Take a big breath in. Soften into it. <sighs> nice work. One more. Fill up. Let something go. <sighs> Slow, controlled, release down. So from right here, just let your feet windshield wiper side to side. Nice. Table tap those legs once again. Don't worry, no more. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. Reach through your feet. Find a little bind pulse here. So this is pigeon or figure four on your back. So feeling the stretch in your hamstring. Keep your toes flexed. Again, relax your shoulders down and back. You can close your eyes here. Big breath in. Soft breath out. I like to find a nice little rocking side to side. Helps open me up a bit more. So your right knee should still continue working towards the front or towards in front of you. From here, I'm going to cross your right knee over your left. You have options. You can bind if that works for you. If you're not there, no worries. Just keep them across. Hands come out to your side, palms down. And lift your hips. Allow them to stack, dropping your knees to the left as you gaze right. Your right shoulder stays down. It's more important for your shoulder to stay down than for you to crank your knees over. And if you're not feeling this, lift up your hips, make sure they're stacked. If you're still not feeling this, bring your knees closer to your belly button and breathe. So we worked hard, all the muscles nice and work, warm from the work. Now we're just finding the space, right? Stretching out the muscles, letting them recovery, recover. Recovery is just as important as training. Inhale, bring it back to center. Good. Switch it out. So lengthen tailbone forward, and then we'll take the opposite foot. So left ankle crosses over right knee. Keep your toes flexed. See how you're feeling on this side. So we're different from side to side, right? Continue to keep your toes nice and flexed. Breathe. And then draw your knee in towards your chest, your right knee. Your left knee is still reaching away from you. So again, finding space in your hips 
big breath in. Ah. So really tune into your breath, tune into what's going on in your body. If that rocking felt good on the opposite side, you can do so here as well. Final breath, fill up. Let it go. Nice. Left knee stacks on top of right. Again, palms come out to your side. Lift your hips. And this time your knees fall to the right. Ugh. Left shoulder stays down. Pull your knees in closer towards your belly button. Gaze over your left fingers this time. If it feels good, you can close your eyes. So these twists are super detoxifying, wringing out your spine of everything it doesn't need. Again, check in with your breath. Tune into the texture, the quality. Just notice what's going on. Final moments. Slowly make your way back to center. Unravel your legs. Put your knees into your chest. And we'll take happy baby final pose. So receive the inside or outside, inside or outside soles of your feet. Your ankles stack directly above your knees. Lower back is glued to the earth and shoulders relax away from your ears. And if this isn't working for you today, you can always grab right behind your knees. Again, it's not about struggling anymore. Simply relaxing into the work that we've already done. This is a great one to find a nice rocking too. You can straighten one leg and then switch it out and straighten the opposite leg. So finding a little bit more space. So give yourself a nice big hug. Forearms wrap around your shins. Right? Lots of appreciation to your body and all the hard work you've done today. And then bring your forehead to meet your knees. Really give yourself a nice big hug. Scrunch your face, scrunch every muscle in your entire body that you've been working so hard. Everything tightens to the center. Nice and tight, nice and tight, nice and tight now. <sighs> Let it all go. So final Shavasana. Legs are nice and white. Palms spread out wide. Shoulders roll down and back. Palms up to take in the energy. And get out any movement, any wiggles, any jiggles, so that you completely surrender into the earth. Breathe. Feel your body fully supported by the earth beneath you. Close your eyes. Tune in to the sensations pulsating through your body. Feel that higher vibration, that energy, and allow it to saturate every cell of your being so that you feel powerful, strong, so that you feel alive and full. And it's through this fullness that you have that much more to give not only to others, but more importantly, to yourself. Feel the space between your eyebrows, the hollowness in your cheeks, any tension releases out of your jaw, 
Feel your ears melt down the side of your head. Space between your teeth. You, as much as anyone else, deserve your time and attention. So as thoughts start to come into your head, just see them as big, white, fluffy clouds floating by on the clear sky that is your mind. Breathe. We're not here for long, so enjoy. Soak it up. Final moments. Give yourself what you need, because only you can. Take a big belly, rich breath in, fill up, feel the breath come in, front, back, side, side, expansive, dynamic, breathe in even more. As slowly as you can, allow that exhale to be released. One more, just like that, big, full, giant breath in. Slowly as you can, let it go. Nice. Gently start to wiggle your fingers, your toes. Drop one ear to the mat, followed by the opposite ear. On your next inhale, reach your arms overhead, your feet nice and long, big, full body stretch like you just woke up in the morning. Good. And exhale, roll to a comfortable fetal position to your right or your left, your choice. So fetal position, knees are in towards your chest. Taking last moment here. All right, feel the earth. Feel supported. Feel connected. Because you truly, truly are. And then as you're ready, leisurely press up to a comfortable seat at the top of your space. Hands come to Anjali Mudra. Feel your thumbs press into your heart for all of the blessings in your life and all of the gratitude that you have to give. Take this light and let it shine brightly to everyone you meet. Remember to be kind. Everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle and everyone you meet has been through something that has deeply changed them. This is not the end of your practice, but just the beginning. Thumbs come to third eye center, and we bow forward if you'd like to seal our practice. Namaste. Yay. Awesome work today, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed the beautiful scenery, felt the power of the pyramids. Um, yeah, thanks so much. You guys rocked it. I hope to see you soon. Take care. Be well. Be kind. Thank you, thank you. Bye.